Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Monday, September 17th. It's the 17th week after Pentecost and week 4 in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 65 and Job 40, verse 1 to 24. And now join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. Our God is God and God alone does life and breath and being give. We are God's work and not our own. A sheep that on God's pastures live. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, praise waits for you, O oh God, in Zion, and to you shall our vows be paid. Alleluia, Psalm 65, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, praise waits for you, O God, in Zion, and to you shall our vows be paid. To you that hear our prayer, to you all flesh shall come. Sin prevails against me. As for our transgressions, you shall purge them away. Blessed are they whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, the blessings of your holy temple. By wondrous things you answer us, O God of our salvation. You are the confidence of all the earth and of the far-off seas. By your strength you set fast the mountains. You are girded with power. You still the noise of the seas, the roaring of the waves, and the tumult of the peoples. They that dwell at the ends of the earth are afraid at your wonders. You make the going out of the morning and the evening to rejoice. You visit the earth and water it. Your river in heaven is full of water. You prepare them corn, and so you provide for the earth. You water the earth abundantly. You drench the furrows. You make it soft with showers, and you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, and abundance flows in your paths. It flows in the pastures of the wilderness, and the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are covered with flocks. The valleys also are covered over with corn. They shout for joy. Yes, they sing. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise waits for you, O God, in Zion. And to you are, shall our vows be paid. Alleluia. A reading from Job, chapter 40, beginning at verse 1. And Yahweh said to Job, Shall a fault finder contend with the Almighty? Anyone who argues with God must respond. And then Job answered the Most High, See, I am of small account. What shall I answer you? I lay my hand on my mouth. I have spoken once, and I will not answer. Twice, but will proceed no further. And then the Most High answered Job out of the whirlwind, Gird up your loins like a man. I will question you, and you declare to me. Will you even put me in the wrong? Will you condemn me that you may be justified? Have you an arm like God, and can you thunder with a voice like his? Deck yourself with majesty and dignity. Clothe yourself with glory and splendor. Pour out the overflowings of your anger, and look on all who are proud and abase them. Look on all who are proud and bring them low. Tread down the wicked where they stand. Hide them all in the dust together. Bind their faces in the world below. Then I will also acknowledge to you that your own right hand can give you victory. Look at Behemoth, which I made just as I made you. 
It eats grass like an ox. Its strength is in its loins and its power in the muscles of its belly. It makes its tall stiff like a cedar. It, the sinew, it makes its tail stiff like a cedar. The sinews of its thighs are knit together. Its bones are tubes of bronze, its limbs like bars of iron. It is the first of the great acts of God. Only its maker can approach it with the sword. For the mountains yield food for it where all the wild animals play. Under the lotus plant it lies, in the covert of the reeds and in the marsh. The lotus trees cover it for shade. The willows of the wadi surround it. Even if the river is turbulent, it is not frightened. It is confident through, though Jordan rushes against its mouth. Can one take it with hooks or pierce its nose with a snare? Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We rejoice in your abundant blessings. Wipe away our sins as we place our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia.